Welcome everyone, I'm Philip Turners from Paderborn University and in this presentation I will present you QMark Face, simple and accurate quality aware face recognition. Face recognition systems are spreading worldwide and are increasingly involved in unconstrained environments and especially there they have to deal with large variabilities such as challenging illuminations, poses, expressions, which might result in incorrect matching decisions. On the other hand, we have the concept of face image quality of a sample, which is defined as the utility of an image for recognition, so it somehow measures the impact of these variabilities on the recognition performance. And in previous work, they either do not use the face image quality at all during comparisons, or include it in a non-inherently suitable way. And to fill this gap, we propose QMark face, a solution that combines the quality-aware comparison score function with a face recognition model trained with magnitude-aware angular margin loss, which leads to a solution that performs especially well under a challenging circumstances. So um, for our methodology, we require a face recognition model that is trained with a marked face loss, because uh, there the face image quality is included linearly, which allows us to assume a linear relationship between the face image quality and the comparison score and then we can propose a quality-aware comparison score based on a linear quality weighting function. So here on the right, you can see two faces, and if we uh, say want to figure out if they belong to the same person or not, we usually use the face recognition model to get embeddings with identity information, uh, compare them, for example, with a cosine similarity function to get a comparison score. But since we are using the mark face loss here, uh, the quality is encoded in the length of the embeddings, which allows us to uh, easily include it in a quality-aware comparison score like this, where we have a linear weighting function um, that weights the minimum quality between these two images and adds the comparison score on top of, uh, of it. It can be easily trained by computing the optimal weights for several decision thresholds and then fit a linear function, this quality weighting function, uh, through it. So usually, um, so on the top here, see the comparison score distribution for uh, different persons in red and the same person in blue, and they have a strong overlap. But if we not only compare, uh, look at the comparison scores, but also at the qualities at the same time and apply our method, which is shown here uh, as the uh, black lines, we can much better separate between these two distributions. And this leads to quite well results. So here, for the image to image, face recognition performance, we see uh, on these uh, benchmarks here that QMark face achieves state-of-the-art performance on the challenging cross-age, cross-pose, and cross-quality scenario. Also for image-based recognition, it performs quite well for uh, false match rates up to 10 to the power of minus 3, for example. Also took a look at uh, the robustness itself. So what we do here, for example, is what uh, we computed the optimal quality weights for the different thresholds on different databases. And what we can observe is that training on different databases leads to similar solutions, um, linear solutions, which means first our uh, choice of linear uh, function is justified. And on the other side, the learned models have a high generalizability since the weighting functions trained on one database is very similar to the optimal weighting functions for the others. And with this, thank you very much for your attention. The code is publicly available.